but I can wear my shield. Put it lower it, put it on. This is what we're building. My name is Roger Reyes. I'm the Assistant Director of the Suffolk Cooperative Library System. We're here at our headquarters in Belcourt where we are processing uh, 3D print masks for the Suffolk, uh, Stony Brook University. So when the someone came across a post of a couple that is producing these face shields for the uh, personal protective face shields for emergency responders out of their home and we decided that it's something that we could do here at Suffolk Cooperative Library System. We know many of our libraries have 3D printers, so we got into contact with Stony Brook University. Our outreach director, Valerie Lewis, contacted Stony Brook, and in turn, uh, I was put in contact with David Becker. He is the director of the iCreate Lab at Stony Brook, and he actually built the prototype and the design. We weren't putting the foam on it, we weren't putting the elastic, just the printing the piece for them. But we've gotten contact from some EMS centers, some other hospitals, some other libraries that know people saying, hey, can we make them the full shield? So within three days, we've gone from printing just the face shield to now we are actually working on building the full mask kit. I would just like to express our gratitude to all the member libraries, the public libraries of Suffolk County, who've contributed the equipment, who bought new equipment. Those libraries who didn't have equipment are sending supplies, they're buying supplies to help us keep this going as long as we can. Uh, I'd like to thank Stony Brook University for getting involved, getting us and letting us be involved with this with them and letting us help them. And the uh, MakerBot for donating some stuff to make this easier and less expensive for all actors.